Hey guys, want to bring you another YouTube video. Um, obviously, congrats to DeMarco Ryan, getting a lot of interviews, Dan Quinn, um, all these other defensive coordinators that are actually in the playoffs. So my video, this is more, I guess, a little bit of a rant on how these coaches uh, or defensive coordinators or offensive coordinators, pretty much these coordinators that are in the playoffs and trying to balance an interview for a head coaching job. Um, so obviously, like I said, it's a great opportunity and all that. It's just the timing. I think it's really hard for a defensive or offensive coordinator or any of these coordinators um, to focus when they have a big game coming up for their prospective team. Um, I know it's kind of sometimes common with college, uh, college um, sports and stuff like that, but I think they need to change it. I think you should not be able to approach a team coordinators um, during the playoffs. I think you should not be able to hire. I mean, I think it's okay that you could fire these players or, or um, the head coaches um, like Black like Monday. That's fine. But I think as an owner or all that, if you have like Harbaugh, Jim Harbaugh, if you want to interview with him um, during – after – the college season, that's fine. Um, if you want to interview these play, uh, coaches, it should be when they're not actually working with their current employer, I think. Because I understand, say, like, if I'm with a current employer and I'm looking for a new job or a new opportunity, yeah, you're going to interview um, during your day off or during your off time. So obviously that's different. But if you have a big job coming up um, it's going to be hard to focus especially if that's a big commitment right so like Marco Ryan if he's going to get a head coaching job obviously he's married and have kids um, you're going to have to talk that out with your wife and all that how did the interview go your wife is not going to ask how was your preparation for the Niners and Cowboys coming up you're not going to be talking about that. Your your wife is going to give your input in the family. Um, like, well, we're going to have to think about it because he's interviewing with the Colts, the Denver um, Broncos this week. And obviously he's had permission to talk to, with the Texans, Cardinals, and um, the Panthers. Um, but Panthers, he, he, logistics didn't work out. So the thing is, it's really hard. I, I like I said, it's to focus, especially this is wild card. Yeah, you might be able to get away with it if you wanted to, um, but I think I would eliminate all that. I, I would say wait until after the Super Bowl um, to make it fair. Because how do you? I mean, good example, right? What if the Niners make it to the Super Bowl and obviously uh, Ryan's going to be. A really hot commodity which he already is um, then you're probably gonna be like well he probably helped the Niners and, and you can see the defensive unit he deserves an opportunity this is maybe why we should move him all the way up or Dan Quinn right another good example if the Cowboys defense uh, carries them to the Super Bowl or win the Super Bowl you're gonna be like okay Dan Quinn deserves that opportunity I just feel like um, if you're able to focus on the game, because obviously Dan Quinn really is going to have his hands full with the Niners. And same for uh, DeMarco Ryan. He's going to have his hands full. So if you want to bring out the best for these coordinators to be able to focus, Kellen Moore is another one for the D Dallas Cowboys. He, he has some opportunities from what I've heard too. So those two coordinators could be gone. And so that's where, like I said, you should... If you want to bring out the best NFL product and uh, games, you definitely won't want to have these coordinators to be able to focus, I feel like. Especially, it's going to be a tough game. Um, so, I just wish the NFL could actually come up with a plan where they could maybe do it after. That could kind of be more... Then you have like that off-season focus, like, oh, where are these coordinators going to go? Who's the head coach that's going to... Um, going to be hired or, or something like that i mean yeah champagne doesn't matter he doesn't have a team that's fine um 
But if you really want a certain coordinator, you're probably going to be willing to wait. So I don't see why they couldn't have waited until a couple more weeks when it's after the Super Bowl. Um, I think that's my gripe because, like I said, we have a great defensive coordinator, uh, DeMarco Ryan. Obviously, uh, Robert Sala got hired uh, with the Jets. Uh, another one was uh, Josh McDan uh, um, Mike McDaniels. So I think like those coordinators, obviously they did well um, with the Jets and Dolphins. So I think we're going to have a third one. Like I said, Kyle Shanahan's tree looks better than um, Bill Belichick, I would say. So um, overall, I would say if you really want a better product, you should maybe put off uh, because, like I said, I think the Niners have a great opportunity. Yeah, uh, we get some compensation for those picks and stuff like that, but I would really like to see these coordinators to be able to focus, maybe have the right opportunity because obviously they've proven themselves if they're able to take that team to the Super Bowl. Um, but uh, like I said, I think it will improve the product. Um, it will be really hard to focus, especially if you're a family guy um, and, and have to move your team. Got to think of the whole off season, like just that one blink. Because like even Dan Campbell said he was um, distracted a little bit with the Detroit Lions uh, when they did the wave. So obviously that's something small and minute where – something big as a, a lifestyle and change to move cross country potentially or to a new city for the family yeah it, they're going to be bugging you uh about how the interview went are we planning to move to this new city do i have to do all this um do i have to make coordination are we selling the house and stuff like that just gotta put yourself in that shoe in a bigger view like yeah Obviously, you're going to be making more money and all that. So it's like, why can't you just wait until February? It's just a whole month of playoffs. There should be no interviews. You could fire the coaches that way. You could start compiling a list of who you want to interview right after the Super Bowl. Let it go. That's fine. Um, or even because there's that two-week break, I'm fine with during that two-week break, maybe that first week of that break where you could interview these coordinators or whoever you want. But other than that, I don't, like I said, you could get the best product if you could wait. Um, let me know if you think I'm crazy, if uh, they should wait or not to be able to interview these uh, coordinators and coaches and stuff like that. Or do you think it's fine the way it is? Go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And together we could build better tomorrow. Thanks.